As promised, as promised, the Hoka Clifton 5 has arrived on the vlog. Now, I purchased this two days ago from Roadrunner Sports. Shout out again to Patrick and Jessica for taking care of me. So what's gonna happen here? I'm, I'm in recovery after yesterday's race. The planter is a little sore today. I will, you know, just being completely transparent with you guys, the arch is a little sore in my foot today. But I want to test the Hoka Clifton 5 because today, because it felt so good in the store. I, I was, again, I was almost in tears. It felt so good. Therefore, I'm going to start running here. I'm going to do three miles in downtown Denver, just in recovery mode. And basically, I'm going to have the GoPro right in my face. And you're going to see my reaction to how the PF, the plantar fasciitis, feels right as I get going in these shoes. So I'm not gonna sugarcoat my facial expression. I'm just gonna react to the pain or not so much pain in my foot as we get going. All right, sound good? Woo! All right, just a Union Station in downtown Denver. Gonna start jogging. Here we go. Here's my, my gut reaction to the Hoka Clifton 5s. Just gotta make sure there's no traffic. All right, it's busy. Here we go. Not bad, folks. Not bad at all. Got to pause the run real quick. Got to pause real quick and give you guys a score on how the Clifton 5s are doing thus far for the plantar fasciitis pain. Not quite a 10, 8.75. I wanted to give a nine real bad, but keep in mind, I raced really hard yesterday, a 5K. And so it is definitely barking at me a little bit through the arch for the PF today, not in the heel, in the arch. So I think that is a step forward. I have no pain in the, in the heel. It's just a little tender in the arch. 8.75 thus far in the Clifton 5s. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Patrick and Jessica. You're amazing. It's, 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 it's rocking, it's rocking. All right, come on, let's keep running, come on. The Clifton Fives can run, but can they dance?
we got it. True love, we got it. We can still cut up that dance floor, and that is the key word of the day. Dance. Not Clifton 5, not Hoka, it's dance. And yes, the Hoka Clifton 5 did great on the dance floor as well in the streets of Denver today. And my son, my oldest son, just noticed inside. He said, uh, Papa, you got a new pair of Hoka running shoes. And I'm like, wait a minute. How does he know that these are Hoka's? Because he can't quite read yet. He's getting there, like he can, he, he knows the letters, but he's not reading fully. And he noticed the bird in the logo here. And that is, you know, that's part of Hoka's logo. And their tagline for Hoka is, it's time to fly. And I would agree, it's time to fly in the Hoka Clifton 5. So kudos to Joseph for noticing the bird here on the side of the shoe and knowing like, wait a minute, correlating that to the fact that these are Hoka shoes. like. Guys, branding, it's crazy. It's like branding is a powerful thing in the 21st century. Okay, this shoe has a five millimeter drop from heel to toe. It weighs 9.4 ounces for a size nine. Very lightweight. I, you know, for the size of the stack height, you get a good chunk of EVA foam here through the midsole. And considering how thick this is, that's a pretty good weight. It does not feel heavy at all. Very different than the Vimero uh, 14 and very different than the Levitate 2. It's just a nice lightweight shoe. Um, the upper has a mesh upper and it's quite a bit different than the Clifton 1, which is actually the last Clifton I, I wore. And uh, another thing that I noticed is the tongue. Remember the Clifton 1, the tongue was very, very thin and I actually kind of liked it, but after trying the Clifton 5 and this tongue, like I really like, I think the tongue on a shoe is really important and when you're trying to lock your foot down into the shoe, which, here's the tip of the day, I went true to size when buying this, this uh, Clifton 5, you may want to think about si going a half size down. I have a little bit, I would say probably on the narrower side of a foot. Uh, if you have a wide foot, you're probably going to be good to go. But my toes are swimming around just a teeny tiny bit in the toe box. And I don't think the lacing system here is going to be able to lock down my foot well enough uh, just, just as the shoe is. However, you know how I like Spenco? That's the green cushion that you see me putting into my shoes just to take a little bit of the edge off of the pavement pounding and the concrete pounding, it's down below. I'm gonna definitely put the Spenco into this shoe, not necessarily for the cushion, but just to help my foot kind of fill up the space that is inside here. Um, one last point on the upper. I think that this upper has a lot of similarities to the Pegasus 35 Turbo. Uh, a very lightweight and I don't know, it just has a similar, like as I'm looking inside here, there's a there's an inner liner that if you have a turbo, you know what I'm talking about. They look very similar. And I don't know if they talk to each other or we're you know checking out each other's shoes, but the upper on this uh, Clifton 5 has very similar looks and feels to the turbo thus far. Okay, what else did I notice on my first run today in the streets of Denver? I felt underfoot like a smooth ride I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm recollecting what my feet were feeling like a smooth ride. I could feel the, the rocker, you know, how Hoka is known for that meta, meta rocker. And it's basic. I can't quite explain it completely. Jessica did a, a much better job inside the store, but basically how they create this EVA foam, they, <laughs> I guess they blow air into the foam and that helps create space inside the foam in the midsole. How fascinating would it be to go to the, the, the factory, wherever that is in the world, and watch them create midsoles. That would be amazing. We should take a field trip, YouTube. I would love to go to a running shoe factory and see how they're making these midsoles. Anyway, I digress. So the ride was good. Um, again, I'm giving it an 8.75 out of 10 for reducing the pain of my plantar fasciitis. That's pretty good. I think because I raced yesterday, my arch is definitely a little tender, a little sore. I think tomorrow, the next day, the next day, this shoe is gonna be a lifesaver. I'm, I, and so like, I don't think I fully experienced the goodness of the shoe today. It's coming, it's coming. All right, the question of the day. This is for all, and I know you're out there. I know you're out there, YouTube. Hoka fans, what is your favorite Hoka shoe and why? That is the question of the day. And I don't want to create too much controversy here, but if you are not a Hoka fan, could you explain why? 
just let me know why. And listen, I'm not trying to stir up uh, any emotions here. I just want to know, like, and maybe you just have never tried Hoka. Maybe you tried Hoka and you just didn't like it, and I'd like to know why. And I'm not saying I'm all in on Hoka. Like, you know, I'm not sponsored by Hoka or anybody else. I'm just giving you my thoughts here, giving you my thoughts, two-way street. So that is the question of the day. Thanks for commenting down below. And that, my friends, is today's vlog in the Hoka Clifton 5. Incredible. I... <laughs> I'm pretty excited. I must say, I am pretty excited. And all right, I'm going to stop talking or else we'll talk all night. Tomorrow's vlog is going to be most likely, most likely, well, probably going to have some drone action, probably going to have some other runners involved. And yes, I have some new tools for recovery. Come back for that. All right, guys, that is it. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. We will see you tomorrow.